welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and enjoying my first full week of my four uploads, although this is the third video. You've still got another one to come tomorrow, which is all exciting. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I do my hair like this. Nice and curled, it's literally how I have it every day. I find that it's so easy to do, so easy to do. I've got myself into a routine of it now and I love it. I do have tape hair extensions, which does add to the volume. Um, the length, my natural hair is this bit here. So it's probably like this much longer, um, but when it's curled, it just blends into one. So I do get my tape hair extensions done with Beauty Works, and I get them done at a May salon, a my salon, a May salon, um, in London. It takes me about 40 minutes to drive there, so it's not too bad. I have done a video dedicated to me going to the salon, getting my hair done. You can see the actual tapes getting fitted in. It's, yeah, I love it, it's so good. And I've had a refit already, and I couldn't recommend them enough, so they're so good. But to do this tutorial, you don't have to have tape hair extensions you can do it with your natural hair i used to do this exact look when i had my short hair if you guys remember so yeah i've done this for ages and i love how my hair looks all curly i have flipped it to one side but it just depends on where your parting is as well so if you haven't watched my video which went up on wednesday i filmed this makeup tutorial so if you're wondering on how i done my makeup like this i have done a tutorial on it which will be up already so go and check that out if you haven't seen it already yeah if you did want to see how to create this hair then please keep watching so this is what my hair looks like at the moment so let's not mind my makeup because i am filming a very dramatic makeup tutorial um so i normally sleep with my hair like this because it's out of my face so that is what i usually do but in the mornings i'll undo it of course imagine if you do that and your hair's just done but instead this is what my hair looks like oh my god <clears throat> and then I'll brush my hair out. So I have tape hair extensions and they start about here. So what I do is I literally put my hair into two sections. So before the hair extensions, so this is all my natural hair at the top and I'll just pop this up into a little bun and then just grip it. So, this hair is all the extensions and obviously my real hair do. So I'm just gonna brush this out. I need to go back a bit so you can actually see my hair, it's quite hard. So what I like to do is use two styling tools. I like to use straighteners because this is gonna help get rid of the baby hairs around your face. And then I'll go in, and they're both from Cloud9, and then I'll go in with the curlers. This isn't sponsored, I love their products. So I'll use them too. So I'll use the straightener first of all, just to like go over any hair that's a bit wavy, that is quite visible. So like up here, round my ear, I always like to do around my face just to straighten it down. And then the back, sometimes like right at the root of the back. And then when you've done that, just brush that through. So what you're literally gonna do, it's so, so simple, is get a bit of hair. I'll show you guys at first and then I'll just do a time lapse because it's so simple. This big, nothing too crazy, depending on how tight you want your curls and the length and all of that kind of stuff. It just depends on your per personal preference, but this is what I like. This wand isn't the biggest. I have really long hair, but it still works. So you want to start where the root is and then just keep curling. And the good thing about it, you can sort of push it, let the hair along to get more on. So as you can see, each side of my face, I do the curls away from my face. So this one I'll do this way, the right one I'll do that way, if that makes any sense. You can just tap with your finger to see if it's ready. And then I pull it out, leave it in my hand for a couple of seconds. And then look, got yourself a curl. So another section here, I always start from the back. I don't know why, I just always have. Like this, you can do your hair in more sections if you want, but because I've got extensions, it's just easier for me to do it this way. I feel like it's actually quicker. I did wash my hair last night, so I just let it air dry. Because I've got extensions, 
I don't want to ruin my natural hair or the actual extensions so I just try and air dry it instead of blow drying and you're literally just going to do it away from your face it's so so simple and easy to do and I used to do this technique when I had my short hair as well so it does work it is it's so good these curlers they also get hot so quickly oh there you go curling this side of my hair as you can see I've done it that way I'm then going to get her spray this is the one I've been using at the moment it is really really good really strong so I'm going to try not to get it on my rash and you're just going to spray your hair I use quite a lot so I spray the hair after each section so I'll do four sprays one two three four probably five I'll do one at the end as well so I'm literally going to do the same to this side but this side, I'm going to curl this way. So you sort of want to twirl it away from your face. I'm literally using exactly the same technique. Got my straighteners. I'll leave everything that I've used in the description box down below. So I'm going to get straighteners. is now done it's time to take down the top part i'm just gonna mid it mid it i'm gonna put it into a middle part in that's not bad for doing that with my nails and just brush each side out become like a routine so again go with the straighteners as you can see this bit is too bumpy for my liking so i just go over it like this the top layer I straighten a lot more because obviously I want it to be smooth and silky and shiny. Like so. And then I always do the top layer in three different parts. So you're then going to get your curlers again away from your face. I like to do the top layer a bit tighter, like the actual curls, so I hold it there for a bit longer than I usually would. Just because this is what's going to give my hair the volume on top, I'll just hold it. So again with the top layer, you're going to spray it with her spray. I use a lot because I brush it out at the end. And then do exactly the same to this side. It's so simple. Once you get into a routine of it, like it takes me about 15 minutes. It's so quick. minutes since I curled my hair and I'm now just going to brush it out I use any brush this is the one I use every day but any will do and just brush it out always start from the bottom and then go to the top because it won't be as knotty and you can see it looks like this it kind of looks like you've had a blow dry done okay so this is what it looks like as you can tell it does go a bit frizzy when you sort of leave it when you brush it straight away so doesn't matter what I like to use is some oil this one is from Beauty Works it is their argan oil serum any will do I use two pumps in my hand a little goes a long way and you just want to spread it in your hands like this and then just go through the ends don't go to the root because that's what's gonna make your hair greasy and that's not really where the frizzy bit is unless if it is do this first 
and then really lightly go with the top bit after just to get rid of any frizzies but try to just go through the ends like so now obviously it look my hair's a lot thicker because i have got tape hair extensions so i have cheated but i get them done at a may salon i'll leave their information in the description box down below and i use the beauty works taping extensions which they do for me um so that's what makes my hair like filler and i love that look so you can leave it like this in the middle part or glam like this but i'm gonna do it to the side today so what i like to do and i feel like this has been my signature look as of lately i will just pop i'll keep going to the side until i like where the parting is so i do a side part like that okay and then as you can see here i don't know if you can see there's like loads of bits of hair up we're gonna get rid of them so when it's over this side just brush it out like that and keep running through it with your hands you should still have some oil like excess left on your hands which is easy to just quickly go back in with your hair and just keep brushing that's also going to prevent any knots and all of that kind of stuff i then tuck it behind my ear like so and as you can see it's a bit messy on top so just keep brushing it like that and i have got some hairs up here which were this way and they're a bit confused so this is really simple you get hairspray spray the top bit and just flatten it down or you can spray it on your hand and then flatten it so in order to make this bit really neat what i like to do is get a brush like this this is actually one for your hair i got sent a bunch of stuff is this the same brand yeah it's from this brand i don't know how to pronounce that but they sent me loads of bits um for like look how cool that is it's like wedding make, uh, makeup wedding hair stuff and that it's really really cool so what i like to do is get hairspray and spray it directly you could get a toothbrush make sure it's the new one though don't get old you don't want any nasty stuff and I literally just brush it down, pull my sideburns up behind my ear like this and then just keep brushing it down and one it's going to make it really shiny and two it's going to hold it there and then I'll brush my hairs this way as well so everyone this is the finished result i love it it's just how i do my hair all the time at the moment i love how it looks it does really really last especially on my hair i think this hairspray has a big impact on that too such a good hairspray it's like strong but it's quite easy to brush out which i really really like um i might do a hair care video where i show you guys how i take care of my hair and obviously i've got tape so how i like what products i use and all of that kind of stuff for them um but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you catch up on my other videos if you haven't already i've still got another one to come tomorrow which is quite late uploading i was meant to do it a couple of weeks ago but it doesn't matter so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new to my channel and i will see you guys next tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> bye